Um, I would like to start my presentation with a question. Um, we heard about energy prices and then so on. My question is, what is the cheapest energy? The one that it's not used. Um, now we're coming to the to the one that uh, to the presentation. What is Elena? And Elena is a technical assistance facility that should enable that make that enables you to 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 do the investments. And uh, what is the Elena model? Elena is providing you grants to prepare really the investments. It's not about implementation of the investments, it's preparation of the investments. We know every city, every municipality uh, has some plans, what they want to do and so on, but there are a lot of obstacles why they don't do, uh, why they cannot implement the investment and so on. And it costs a lot of money to prepare all these investments. And for this reason, Elena is there to provide you the financing for the preparation of the investments. The only obligation which you have when you receive Elena is that every euro that you receive for the preparation should generate 20 euro of investments in sustainable energy projects. I will explain it later what kind of projects these are. And 10 euro investment in sustainable urban transport project and residential projects. Uh, so we have three different uh, sectors that we are supporting, sustainable energies. Uh, these are projects, uh, these are sectors that uh, support renovation of public and uh, private buildings, integration of renewables uh, energies in, in buildings, integration of solar, biomass boilers, and then so on, addressing renovation of street lighting and uh, renovation of district heating and cooling. And for this sector, we have the leverage factor, which I will explain to you later. This is the, uh, uh, the 20 euro that should be generated. Uh, uh, this is uh, the leverage requirement for if a municipality or a region is asking for support for this sector. Uh, then we have a sector that we are supporting is the residential sector. Here, uh, we are supporting the renovation of residential buildings, integration of renewable energies into it. Uh, we're supporting also integration or operation of one-stop shops that supports many uh, local uh, areas in, in, in the implementation of renovation of buildings. And we are supporting also investment in sustainable transport. Uh, here we are addressing really uh, the investments, uh, proper support in the, of the investments, preparation of the investments to sustainable transport, to moving away from fossil fuel, moving to alternative transport systems. And here, the leverage factor is, is also 10. Who can apply for Elena? Uh, this can be local governments, central governments, uh, energy agencies, regional authorities, uh, public corporation, but also financial institution. Private entities can also apply. We have here uh, association, housing association, banks, financial entities. Um, what we are supporting, we are supporting not, not only individual project, but we are supporting uh, programs. So the, the point is, the different municipalities, regions have uh, different investment needs and they may have buildings, public buildings, they may have uh, district heating investments. So every project may support different uh, aspects uh, for the investments, for the preparation of the investments. And uh, Elena supports all of them. So you can collect different investments uh, you can bundle them and you can apply for, for the support uh, from Elena for the preparation. Um, leverage factor. Uh, leverage factor is the, in the end, the investments that have been supported uh, divided by the total grant amount that you receive. 
And as I mentioned, in the three different sectors, we are looking for, uh, for different leverage factors. And this is the only obligation that you have. You are asking for the grant amount and you are engaging uh, with Elena so that you, you have the commitment to provide, to deliver the investments 20 times at least the, the grant amount or 10 uh, for different projects. Um, what Elena can finance? Elena can finance uh, different stuff. So actually all activities that are needed uh, for uh, applicant so that it is able to uh, implement the investments. So in many municipalities, there is no dedicated staff that can deal with the preparation of the investments. So we, Elena can finance this internal staff. But there are also, in many cases, no, the, the knowledge in these municipalities is not there. So they, uh, the municipality have to hire external experts to uh, prepare such investments. So all the external experts required for the preparation of such investments uh, can be hired under Elena, and Elena covered the, uh, the costs. Uh, so, and for what you see all the list of activities, it's not the full list. Uh, as I mentioned, the point is Elena can cover the costs uh, which are then really needed for the implementation of the investments. Um, yeah, eligible costs under Elena, it's the internal staff costs and the costs for the external expertise. Uh, the application process. We are not working as the commission that you, we propose, a, we announce a call. You come to us uh, when you have a concrete project, you know what kind of investments you want to do, but and you, you identify the needs that you have to enable these uh, investments to happen. So we are working on the, on the basis first come, first serve. Uh, when we receive the application, um, we look at it and uh, uh, we are discussing uh, with you all your needs and the costs and then we present to the commission the request because the funding is coming from the commission and the commission approves in the end hopefully the, the project. Elena covers not 100% of all the preparatory costs but covers 90% of the costs. There is a 10% contribution from the applicant. And uh, Elena can also support the applicants in mobilization of external funding for the investments. So if, for example, municipality wants to apply for calls uh, for investments, national level or, or EU level, uh, Elena can help or the, the, up, the consultants who are working for the municipality, for example, they can help to prepare the application for such funding. Uh, this is the process. Uh, how does it work for the applicant? How to obtain Elena? So you are contacting us. We have a pre-application form uh, that we are discussing with you. We want to know who you are, uh, what are your needs, what are more or less the costs, what will be the investment and so on. Then we are working on the full version of the uh, application until we can uh, present a document, our assessment of the project to the commission who approves then uh, the project and then the project can start. Um, we are working through the whole process with you and uh, we are presenting to the commission projects that are worthy to, to finance, to be supported our success rate is then 100% because we support projects that are really uh, worthy to support. Uh, so, and we are working with you so that the commission approves the project. Um, until now, we have more or less 160 projects approved. Uh, we provided more or less 300 million euro grants and the resulting investment should be of around 9.2 billion euro. Uh, the average uh, leverage factor for, uh, for the 
individual projects is around 33. You see the, the map on uh, where, where the projects are located in different countries. And we are looking for more projects as we still have a lot of funding available. In summary, uh, we support investments program that should generate at least 30 million euro investments. Uh, I know it's a lot. So for individual municipality, it's difficult to get up to this level. For this reason, we are working also with regional authorities that can bundle different municipalities uh, where they have the invest individual investments. Uh, the same can be done by uh, energy agencies and then so on. So, so that they bundle really individual projects so that they can come over the, the hurdle of 30 million euro. Uh, we have the leverage factor, the only requirement that you have. Uh, we have continuous application process and the grant is uh, really between one and three million euro. You have to define, you have to tell us what are your needs and uh, so that you can demonstrate that if these this needs are fulfilled, if you have the sufficient funding for to be able to uh, implement the investments that you can can do the investments and the time frame the project's uh, duration is around three years so you have really three to four years to implement the investment projects so this was in short elena uh, as i mentioned we have funding available we are looking for further projects and I hope I could motivate you because I know in every city has investments to do that needs to be done. And uh, the question is how you can do it. And Elena provides you with the funding to be a, so that you are able to do this. So thank you very much. <laughs>